Hey Guardians, now what you're seeing here is a Master Lightfall campaign mission, while around 40 to 50 under the recommended power level, and we can just run around in end game content, melting everything with insane DPS. Now the only thing harder than this is a Grandmaster Nightfall, which actually come to think of it, I think a GM would be easier, because that caps you 25 under the recommended level, whereas this Master Story caps you 20 under, but I'm actually nowhere near that level to begin with, so I'm at a huge disadvantage even more. Now with this build, you'll be able to get infinite fusion grenades, crazy DPS numbers, really fast supers and a bunch more. We are also getting healing effects on top to make this build even stronger in these types of activities. Of course taking this into end game content whilst massively underpowered like I am, you will still die in about 2 shots, but the point is that we can output stupid amounts of damage which just makes end game become easy mode as we have that passive DPS without relying on our weapons. I actually used this build in the legendary campaign and it just melted everything. This is by far the best build in the entire game and if you're a warlock not running this build then something ain't right. Now we're also going to be making use of one of the new fragments we got this season, as well as a few mods in the new build crafting system that came out of Lightfall, and by using these new fragments and mod changes, it makes this build even stronger than it's ever been in the history of Destiny 2. Now do you want your characters to feel more powerful and look more beautiful? Then check out my new partner Apex Gaming PCs. I've got my own custom line of powerful PCs available that will guarantee you play flawlessly with maximum quality and performance. Whether you want a light build, a darkness build or you want to go all out god mode, then Apex has got your back using some of the best and latest components available regardless of your budget and on top of this, they also have finance options available so you don't have to pay all at once. You can also use my code DIVIDE for up to $250 off your next purchase. See my link and discount code below, you're welcome. Now the Warlocks have had some crazy builds over the past year and a lot of builds for Titans and Hunters just nowhere near competes against the power that Warlocks hold. But with the new changes to build crafting introduced this season, a lot of builds for other subclasses have had nerfs but also buffs and with so many new fragments and exotics, these builds are only going to get either completely broken or completely nerfed. So if you like this build and you want to keep updated with some of the best builds in Destiny 2 every week, then be sure to check out my new full Season 20 build playlist, it's linked down below, and you might just find your new best build. But for this build, we're going to take the Dawnblade subclass to a whole new level. Our main focus for this build is to spam fusion grenades as much as possible, while not making us too exposed to adds, so that they instantly kill us. We'll be using them while we're in a well combined with a fairly good rocket launcher with a demo perk, so that we can reload it by throwing a fusion grenade. And this way you'll be causing crazy amounts of damage and realistically, when you're doing things like a dungeon boss, you should be having the most damage out of the whole team because you're not only getting DPS with your heavy weapon, but you're also using Wither Horde for passive DPS over time, which will recharge our fusion grenades and then using those fusion grenades which are just purely insane for damage too, it will reload our rocket. And then you just loop between those three things and you'll be using all your heavy ammo quicker than everyone else, but also getting those extra damage numbers on top, which just makes you a true DPS guy in the team. Now the way you'll use this build in the majority of content in things like Nightfalls, Dungeons and Raids is you'll first get armor charge stacks. You'll do this by picking up orbs, ideally created by you by having a void weapon and a cypher mod, and this will give your void weapons volatile rounds for even better ad clearing. Then from here you'll just go around killing adds with your fusion grenades and repeat. With this build we're not relying on having an empowering rift, so you can freely throw your fusion grenade whenever you want. You won't get it back instantly, but it will still have a pretty fast cooldown. And since we we're using a new fragment, Ember of Resolve, those grenade final blows are going to give us health as well, so it just makes this build even better than it was pre lightfall But once you've got your super, which you'll get pretty quick by killing adds with those grenades, so you do want to use them when you have them ready, but once you do have it, place it down when you either have a lot of adds around, champions or a boss, because you can then just use a wither horde to DPS the boss over time, while standing in the well, and this will passively recharge that grenade. And then you can just spam those fusion grenades at the boss, which is a really good source of DPS especially in harder content. Honestly, those fusion grenades just carry endgame content. Now usually you'd use an empowering rift right, because we're using a starfire protocol which means dealing empowered damage like being in a rift will give us grenade energy back and then killing adds with that grenade would recharge the rift. You can use that if you want to and the way you would use that is just place down an empowering rift first, then use the grenade to get a kill which will get the rift back, then deal damage while inside that rift to get grenade energy, which can work in endgame pve since the new fragment will heal us, but it's risky to just sit in a non healing rift being constantly shot at, so for this build we're going to be using the healing rift for more survivability in end game pve but if you're going into easier content or even things like a dungeon where surviving isn't an issue then you can use the empower rift instead but i prefer to use the healing one personally especially when it comes to using this build in grandmaster nightfalls 
Now the build I actually used for this Master Loss Sector, which by the way I was 40 under the recommended power level, I used an Outbreak so I can deal with the barriers, a Scout Rifle so that I can stun Unstoppables, and then a Rocket for DPS with my Fusion Grenades. Now I'm using a Rocket because I have the Demo Perk which means that I can just fire a Rocket, throw a Grenade and then fire another Rocket, and then throw another grenade, and it just works nicely to melt down bosses and champions quickly. Usually you'd use a Wither Horde in the connect slot, which is what you do want to do if you can, which you'd mostly do when you're with a team, but for my case I needed something that could stun barriers, so I couldn't really run that. But in dungeons and nightfalls where you have a team, you really want to run a Wither Horde, because doing that, it will deal damage over time which will give you those fusion grenades back quicker when you're either in an empowering rift or a well when dealing DPS. So in this subclass, make sure you're running a Well of Radiant Super, and either an Empowering Rift or a Healing one, it really depends on you. I tend to swap them around when my loadout isn't locked, depending on the situation. Like if I have no heavy ammo, but I have a Wither Horde, I would sometimes swap to an Empowering Rift for DPS, and then swap back to Healing. It's really down to preference, but I would go with the Healing one for most endgame PvE. Now I am using the Starfire Protocol Exotic Armor, as I mentioned, which gives you an extra fusion grenade. This you 100% want on for this build to work effectively, so make sure you have that on. And of course, remember to actually have a fusion grenade on as well. And by the way, since we're getting two fusion grenades, we can now make good use of the grenade kickstart mods. So I'm running three of these mods in the arms, and unlike last season, they now give you energy even if you have two grenades. So using three of these mods, 100 discipline, 2 distribution mods in the class and 1 bomber mod, we can get that grenade back really quick. Which is what you want because we're also running 2 ashes to assets in the helmet, which means getting grenade kills will give us super energy. And this mod is actually no joke, we're literally getting our super back so quick, as long as you have a lot of adds to kill with those grenades. Now what actually makes this build even better though is our aspects and fragments, so our aspects I'm using a touch of flame, this will let our fusion grenades explode twice, the second aspect I'm using increased dash, and then the fragments we have are going to be ember of resolve so that those grenade final blows cure us, ember of char so that those ignition spread scorch, ember of ashes to apply more scorch stacks and eventually cause another ignition, and then ember of eruption so that those ignitions have a bigger area of effect. Basically the same as what we ran last season, but with the new fragment for health on grenade kills. Now I am using a void weapon as well with the void cypher mod in the helmet. The reason for this is because multi kills with the void weapon will generate us orbs of power. And using the artifact perk volatile flow, we'll get volatile rounds which is just another source of ad clearing when we don't have fusion grenades. We'll also generate more orbs with the shattered orbs which just helps us get our super faster too. And not only that, the bricks from beyond perk will also help us to get more heavy ammo. All you need to do is kill yellow bars, even just the weak yellow bars, and it's actually a really high drop rate too for those heavy bricks to spawn in. The only other things you really need for this build are a charged up in the chest and a stacks on stacks mod in the legs. This just means that we can hold an extra stack of armor charge and get an extra stack when we pick up an orb, because having 4 stacks of armor charge and then throw in a grenade will give us half of that grenade energy straight back. The mods aren't required, but they just help when you're not using an empowering rift like me, so you can still make use of throwing fusion grenades to get your super faster. Honestly, a really good top tier build that everyone should be using. Now if this ain't the build for you, or you want to see other amazing builds in Destiny 2 Lightfall Season 20, then be sure to check out the playlist down below because you might just find your new favourite build. But for now guys, give this one a try, I promise you'll like it, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next build, because Titans, you're next. Peace out guys.